You're welcome. Muscular dystrophy is one of those things that, well, it takes much more than magic to make it disappear, but I brought a little something that might sort of exemplify what, when we get all of this done, might happen. I brought this for you. It's a bird in a cage. You, and you do that, you see, and it will disappear. Let's try to make that happen with muscular dystrophy, too, huh? I like that. Thank you, Harry. That's good. I was talking backstage with a lovely young lady back there that I met and for the very first time this evening, and she said, I'll do anything for, for Jerry's kids. Well, we're gonna put her to the test because we're about to do something rather wonderful with Miss Lorna Luft. Okay, Lorna, darling. There she is. Good luck. <laughs> now, what we're going to do, Lorna, I'm going to ask you to sit down for a moment. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this, but it is quite possible. Would you sit down and just relax for a moment? Please don't be upset. It's, please don't be afraid. No. I've never done anything to hurt you, have I? Not yet. Not yet. Well, you see, ladies and gentlemen, in the world of illusion, there is one thing that is generally known, and that is that it is possible for an individual to become totally hypnotized, and while being hypnotized, then becomes weightless and is capable of rising high into the sky. Now, may I ask you, have you ever been high in the sky? <laughs> Oh, never have, I see, all right. Well, what I would like to do then is to, uh, to try a little something. It's an experiment, just an experiment. Now, will you trust? You will, all right. Would you assume the prone position? Place your head upon this end of the bench, your feet on this end, stretch out so that, and do it face up if you would, please. It makes it easier, that's fine. Just relax, no, right there, that's fine, right there. Just put your head right back here. Now, I'd like you to- Can I say something? You can say anything that you want to. If I can do this, you can pick up your phones at home <laughs> and pledge some money for Jerry's Absolutely. kids. Absolutely. Right. There we are. Now I want you to, to relax. Remember that because that's most important and, and we'll double that in a very special kind of way. May I ask you to place your, your left hand right there and your right hand on top of it, if you will, so that later we'll know where to put the lily. Now, what we're going to do... This is a rather low ceiling here in the studio, so what I'm going to do before I uh, levitate, uh, I'll place this across your midsection, which will keep you from floating up too high too quickly. Got a little chubby there, haven't you, dear? <laughs> now, uh, uh, I hope I don't lose any more weight. I hope you don't. <laughs> now, right there. It is quite true that hypnosis can be used and has been used in order to stop the flow of blood during surgical operations. By way of explanation, now you didn't know this was going to happen, did you? <laughs> Here is a solid steel saw. We will very quickly hypnotize her, just like that. You are now hypnotized. Mm -hmm. No, you don't talk when you're hypnotized. <laughs> what we're going to do, I want you to feel this. Notice that, oh, I'm sorry, you cut your thumb. No, 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 but she's not bleeding, notice, you see? She's hypnotized. Now, if they believe that, they'll believe anything. In order to demonstrate this is, in fact, a solid steel saw, may I demonstrate by cutting these wooden pegs that are here at the front and at the back of the bracket. I'll cut through those, and just in order to demonstrate that this is a solid saw, and while I'm doing it, I might as well cut anything that's in between. Now you're beginning to get the idea. Yeah. Right, would you place your right hand there? Here? That's it. Place your left hand there. In other words, Lorna, I want you to get a good grip on yourself. <laughs> We're about to try it. I love you, Jerry. Any last words? Pick up the phone. <laughs> the Let's have a little, um, a little music right here to go through the sewing. Right down through the first peg, just like that. Aha, right through the first peg, just like that. Did you feel anything at all? Notice that it cut it in half, front and back. Did you feel anything at all? No. You didn't. Well, maybe we'd better cut a little deeper then. <laughs> Number two. Right down through the second wooden pegs, front and back, just like that. Did you feel anything that time? You didn't? No. Nothing at all? Strange. Third and final time. Right down through, just like that. Right down through, just that way. And, oh, oh, oh my goodness. Wait, oh, just a second here. Uh, your belt's in the way. Ah, there. Oh! Right through the body, thick and thin, and she's been cut in half. And now, she's been cut in half. But notice that although the blade has gone all the way through the body, the hands will still move. Move the hands, Lorna. That's it. But the feet are not moving, just the shoes. 
Apparently, you're a quick healer. I mean, it went all the way through the body, and immediately you were able to move, which is more than some. But nevertheless, I'll pull the... Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry. We've got a little problem here. Uh, Jerry, could you help me a second? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. What happened? I've got, I've got a problem. I don't want two of her. I'll tell you that for all. No, no, no. No, I, I'm, I'm serious. I noticed earlier you were fixing things. Yeah. And you see, the problem was she healed before I got the blade out, and now the blade is all the way... Oh, oh! I can't get, can't get it. Ah! Through. Can't do it. I'm well, afraid what? I'm going to have to disassemble the entire thing right here. Could you help me for just a second here? Uh, what do you want here. me to do? That's, that's fine. What I want you to do is you take the half down there, and I'll take the half that eats. All right. Oh. And that, that, that can, I'm, I'm sorry that I can't seem to... Can you, can you sit straight up here? Sit straight up. You see, the blade is all the way underneath. The blade is all the way through the body, and can you assume the Las Vegas position? Hands up in the air. That's it. That's it. And there, a solid steel blade all the way through her body, just like that. Harry Blackstone, that's pretty good. Thank you, Harry. Thank you. That so was beautiful. Lorna Luck, let's have a nice let's hand for that hand, kid. She does anything for us. She's nuts. Thanks, darling.